Uh, welcome to the uh, to, to the Brandon Lane Channel uh, maintenance presentation at 7 to 5. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, please note that we'll be uh, recording the presentation to post it onto the city's website uh, at a later date. Um, my name is Justin Naylor. I'm, I'm a senior professional engineer with the City of Fort Worth and the Transportation Public Works Capital Delivery Team. And, and again, we, we're talking about the Brandon uh, channel maintenance and we're, we're at about 60% in our plans, which is why this is called the 60% status meeting, just to let everybody know uh, where we are. Uh, highlighted in green on the screen is roughly the limits that we're gonna be, uh, that we're looking at. We're just south of Camp Bowie, uh, running south towards Bangor. Uh, so th those will be the limits that we're looking at. Uh, just a handful of pictures of kind of what it looks like today. Uh, you know, there's some some kind of natural rock outcroppings out there. There's some there's some uh, retaining walls that have been installed in the past, and down closer towards the banger, there's been some uh, concrete lining or, or some articulated concrete blocks placed in the bottom of the channel. And then we'll get to talk a little bit about about uh, what we're planning to do to try to help address this erosion. The, the goal of the project is to mitigate the erosion. Uh, so, so the banks are stable, uh, and, and the and the creek continue to can, can can continue to carry the runoff that it needs to. Uh, so here in the, in the magenta lines, uh, you can kind of see the limits of what we're looking at doing. Uh, as, as you can see, the magenta, magenta the lines kind of start and stop at various locations. Uh, so that, what that tells us is that we're, we're trying to hit only the spots of the channel that are, that are in really bad shape and that are going to that we anticipate to continue to erode. Uh, so where the where the pink line start, starts and stops, that's where we're currently anticipating our, our solution to start and stop. And then the the kind of polygons uh, represent some areas where we're addressing uh, with a little bit of a different solution than than what's represented by the line. Uh, so, what exactly are we planning to do? So, here's an engineering, an engineering type drawing. Uh, what we're looking at doing. This is this is a cross section. So, this view is let's say you were to imagine your, yourself to be buried in the channel uh, with your head kind of at the ground level, looking looking in uh, up or down the channel. Uh, so, what we're looking at doing is installing these. Uh, it's called a, a pier and panel wall, or a pier column and panel wall. Uh, so we would come in and drill piers every about every eight feet or so. It would, that would be uh, determined by, by our structural engineer, uh, and then had a concrete uh, panel slid in between those two piers uh, to suppress the so the erosion doesn't continue to eat into the natural bank. I highlighted in, in the red and in the blue, the red representing an overhead power pole, you know, existing lines, and then the blue representing existing fences. So the goal here is really just to mitigate the erosion uh, so that it doesn't continue to, to migrate out and get wider, uh, but doing this without uh, constricting the flow and without reducing how much uh, stormwater runoff the channel can carry. So this is our general solution uh, that, that we're looking at. That's, uh, that's represented here in these magenta lines. Uh, this the the blob or the blob. That's sorry. That's very unprofessional. Uh, the the polygon down here, closer to Banger, uh, that represents where there's some articulated concrete blocks that are in uh, kind of disrepair. That they've kind of started coming up because of the flow. Uh, so that that's going to be uh, kind of a remove and replace, uh, so that we can get that put back down. And then the polygons here uh, that are kind of about mid mid block on Brandon. Uh, that represents where there are some storm drain outfalls that have caused erosion on both of the both of the banks. So that, that's uh, where we're going to put some grouted rock riprap uh, to help uh, solidify the channel, uh, so that the erosion doesn't continue and it doesn't migrate out. Uh, so that's really kind of the nuts and bolts of, this, of, of of what we're looking at doing. It's it's not really flashy. It's it's not. Um, and it, it, it's very practical as far as uh, what we're, you know, it, it should serve the purpose that we need of, of, you know, mitigating the erosion so that it doesn't continue to erode and maybe get onto private property. Uh, so milestones, what we're looking at, we're interested in completing the design uh, in winter 2022, uh, bidding and awarding shortly thereafter with construction, hopefully to start in the spring of 2023. Uh, now you, you'll, you've probably already noticed if you're looking at the screen, uh, that we're showing a two-year uh, 
a timing for construction. It's not that we think that this channel will take a, will take the entire two years to construct, uh, but we're bidding this channel with another channel uh, that has a very that has a, has an identical type of uh, repair method, which gives us an economy of the scale, uh, so that the contractors are more likely to bid on it uh, because they'll they'll get a little bit they'll give us a little bit better rate for the for the repair method, uh, just because there's a, there's more of it to do. Uh, kind of like going to Sam's and buying in bulk. Um, so we have the two-year timeline on there because at this point we don't have a contractor on board, uh, so we don't know which channel they would hit first uh, or if they would do both channels at the same time. Uh, we, we really just don't have that kind of information right now. One of the things that we will be evaluating is uh, if, if we have a compelling reason to kind of set the the, the construction sequence for the contractor if they need to, to hit this one or, or the other channel first. Uh, that's something that we're going to be evaluating as we continue to move forward. Uh, our current estimated construction cost is about 700,000 uh, for, for this channel. Uh, we, we do, uh, just to give you a, head, a heads up, we do intend to at our 90% meet, uh, once we have our plans for our 90%, uh, we do intend to have another community meeting and then another community meeting at the, after we have uh, bid and award the contract and we're getting ready to start construction. So that would be a meeting, a pre-construction meeting with the contractor on board uh, so that they can take a look and then they'd be able to to answer some of the specific questions. You know, how are you planning on getting here? Uh, what's the traffic control going to look like? Uh, those, those are all details that we would that that would come, that's, uh, come from a, from our contractors after they've had a chance to look at that. And and so with that, you know, like I said, this is a very a pretty straightforward project, a pretty straightforward uh, uh, concept. And with that, I'll open it up to any questions. Uh, my, my contact num information is on this screen, and my phone number is 817-392-7953, and my email address is justin.naylor at fortworthtexas.gov. And so if you, you know, if, if after this meeting is, is over and uh, you have some additional questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, I'd happy, be happy to, to answer any questions. And at, with that, uh, John, I'll open it up to see if you have any questions. Well, we just would like to verify what I'm seeing on that slide that had the uh, the scope of the work in Magenta. Yeah. And that, my house looks like it's at the 10 foot elevation there on the south side, lot 67. I think I'm going to get that a little bit bigger so I can see. Hey, whoops, wrong one. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, B8, actually. No, I'm sorry, B7. Yeah, B7 looks like my address. So it looks like you're going to start right next door to me on the south side is that correct yes okay and my only concern would be that where that starts is that going to dovetail in well enough that it doesn't create you know an eddy problem right there right and and so that that would be the in, the intent is that we're not going to you know we, we don't want to come out and do a project and have it cause erosion in other areas Right, because you know that that first picture, the first set of pictures you had on it, the picture on the left, I believe, is looking up into my backyard. That photograph, uh, uh, yeah, the slide before or two. Oops, one more, one more. All right, that photo on the left, that I am certain actually, is my backyard. That uh, part where the concrete is laid, there's the mm -hmm. board up there. Yeah, right that here. Is, Right here, yeah, and there's some sort of footing that they put there, and then I'm not sure who poured that concrete. It might have been the original contractors. It might have had some left over. Uh, that, that could have been uh, the water department, because I believe we, that there's a water main running under there. Uh, the, George, well, is, that, is that correct? There's a water main that runs on the street, because they've just repaired it for about the eighth time since I've lived here, right up at the intersection of um, oh, Guadalupe there, I think, uh, Guadalupe and Sutton Squirrel Road. So that yeah, I, I, I think there's a larger transmission main a uh, bigger one? running right. in the channel, channel two. George, am, am, I, am I remembering that correctly, or am I getting it mixed up with another channel? I think George is here in spirit only. Now, I, I do notice something in that picture that I haven't really noticed because I don't get down there much, if ever. It does look like it's undercut a little bit right there. 
uh, at the very bottom, mm-hmm. heading south down there. I don't know if that's an issue. It hasn't been an issue the entire time we've been here. I mean, that that thing that's had water probably halfway up of that, running about 40 miles an hour, looks like. Uh, but I can see definitely down the creek where it needs to be done. And I'm, I'm just glad that you guys aren't going to rip out all that green stuff behind my house. That looks like that looks like yeah, I, that looks like the only concern that I had. Okay. So I'm I'm I looked at those plans and I don't see any issues that I would have with what you guys plan on doing. Okay, uh, and, 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 and we'll. we'll... We'll make sure that we pay special attention to that tie-in to make sure that we're not going to create any eddies. And, and yeah, we'll, we'll also we'll also yeah. double check to make sure you know that 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 concrete work that's in that channel, uh, you know, that that it's in good shape and is going to kind of continue to last because it would make sense if, we, if while we're out here we can go ahead and get it addressed to go ahead and take care of it. At, you know, at the same time. Mm-hmm. And that pool right back there, that's where all the wildlife is. That's about when there's, that's usually, that's, that's two or three feet deep right there, that one spot. Mm. And I'm not sure where all that rock went out that came from. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take any more of y'all's time. Appreciate y'all running this meeting. And um, I'm, I guess the only, the only one that either was interested or, or, could, or had time or could figure out how to get on the, Get on the, the meeting. Well, it look, looks like we might ha- might have had one more join us. Uh, so if if, if 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 you're good, I'm gonna, I'm going to ask Anwar if he ha- if, if there are any questions. Uh, f- feel free to unmute yourself uh, and, and 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 chime in, or if you're good. Uh, no, I, I think I'm good. I, I came in a little bit later. I was having a little trouble getting it to work on my phone. I have to switch to the laptop, but um. Oh, okay. As far as I can tell, I don't think I'm really affected by it because my backyard isn't um, directly connected to that channel there and stuff. So okay. um, it's just another neighbor. So I, I, I don't think it'll affect me whatsoever. But, um, you know, I still just wanted to just kind of check out what was going to go on. Okay. Well, pre- appreciate you, you joining in. Well, thank you, guys. Well, if, if there, there are no other questions, then we'll go ahead and uh, call the meeting adjourned. I want to thank you all for... For coming out and your and your participation, uh, I re- really appreciate it and appreciate y'all y'all's involvement. Uh, feel free to let your neighbors know. Uh, we, we will be posting this to the to the city's website. Uh, we we are getting a specific project page made for for this uh, for this project. It'll be the Brandon uh, Brandon channel, uh, so that should be able to be searched on the on the city's website. Um, and again, you know, we'll have some additional meetings coming up when, as we advance the design a little bit further. And then, uh, and then when we have a pre-construction meeting with the contractor. So with that, uh, thank you, and, and everybody have a good evening. Thank you. You too. Take care.